Let's go to Matthew chapter 12. We're going to stay on the same topic. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 43. When the unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest and finds none. Then he says, I will return to my house. Somebody say my house. Somebody say my house. He says, I will come back to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it empty, swept and put in order. And the Bible says he brings more evil and it becomes worse for the person that has ever been before. Now listen to this story very carefully. This story has been usually used to explain when a demon leaves a person and the person does not have a filled with Jesus, then the demon comes back and brings seven times more. But the logic behind that explanation is this. If the demon leaves a person, he can't really leave a person without Jesus' help. And a lot of people who get free and the demon leaves the person, then the demon has the audacity to still say that my house. See, if you're a Christian, you believe in Jesus, you're not the devil's property. You may be the devil's target, but you're not his property. You might be the part of the devil's attack, but you are not part of his property. What gives the right to a demon spirit to call my place? And this is something I'm going to share with you. Pay attention very carefully. Most of us think when an evil spirit or demons or Satan attacks a person's life, their chief goal is to destroy a person. And that is true according to John chapter 10 verse 10. But there's also a goal that they have in attacking a person's life is not just to destroy the person but to build a mindset within a person that they can call their home. Why? Because the Bible says there's this thing called a strong man. It means it's an evil spirit that attacks a person's life. Where does the strong man live? In a stronghold. A stronghold is a mindset. A stronghold is a house of thoughts. The assignment of every demon is not only to destroy you, but to build you. To build within you a mindset that even when they leave, they still have a place called home, your mind. A stronghold becomes the devil's home. And how does he build a stronghold? Through lies. Lie after a lie, believed by you, accepted by you. And even when the evil forces is gone and the person is free from demonic influence, but they're not free from the mindsets of lies that the devil has built in them. See, the demons live quickly. Mindsets are not broken quickly because they've been built over a long time. And the enemy's goal is not just to destroy you, it's also to build within you a mindset that even when he is removed through your prayer, through the prayer of someone else, and then you simply polish that negative, defeated, doubtful mindset, clean it up with the religious behavior modification. He still has a place he calls home, the place he built. So this is not just, oh, if a person is delivered, do they speak in tongues? No, 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 this is more. This is when a person is delivered, is their mind renewed? The mind of a person can be either a place for the Holy Spirit to work or the enemy to get a call back home. That's why Jesus said, not only you can be free when I touch you, but you also must be free when you know my word because there are certain damages the enemy does in a person's mind that only the truth can liberate not Jesus is touching it's Jesus is teaching that can set a person free can somebody say amen? amen and so tonight we are going to talk about a topic that will be titled how to make devil homeless <laughs> you can't destroy him some people say, I'm going to kill the devil. Too bad. He's not going to die. I'm going to send him to hell. You cannot do that. Only God can do that in the book of Revelation. But you know what you can do? You can make him homeless. That means you can destroy his home. And the only bad part is you can't do it in one day. 
You can do it in one meeting. Pastor cannot do it for you. I cannot do it for you. Jesus cannot do it for you. You know what can do for you? Truth. You know what builds the house for the devil? It's a lie. Build up on a lie. Build up on a lie. Few lies like, I'm ugly. That's a lie. You believe in it? I'm worthless. Another lie. God never heals me. God never comes through for me. Another lie, another lie. And here you have a mansion for every demon in hell to have a resting place. And it's a matter of time. I'm not saying you will have demons, but you will live in constant torment because Satan has something in you he calls his home. Strong man lives in stronghold. A stronghold is a house of thoughts. Thoughts fixed with lies. This is not just one thought. These are thoughts that have become your mindset. It's the way you think. It's the way you see. It's the moment somebody doesn't accept you or doesn't call you or doesn't do something. You immediately, poof, you flush out. Again, somebody. Okay, they treated me just like the other person. Again, that thing comes out out of you. It's automatic. You don't even think about it. It's an automatic response that comes from the inside. That is called a mindset. A biblical word for it in 2 Corinthians, a stronghold. And these strongholds cannot be destroyed in one day. They can be destroyed over time, but they cannot be destroyed without the truth. Not the truth alone, but the truth you apply. I was very fortunate to stay in the house of Vladimir Silchuk, who sits over there. And uh, he gave me, uh, they gave me soap uh, to take shower with. The presence of soap in the bathroom did not make me clean. I didn't say anything smart. Don't, don't, don't think too hard. It's very simple. Okay. Samuel, what do you say? Relax. Everything is fine. I didn't say anything smart. The presence of soap in the bathroom did not make me clean. You know what made me clean? Applying the soap I had in the bathroom. You have everything you need to be free within your reach. Stop coming and asking God to make you clean when He provided the soap that you don't use. You shall know the truth and the truth will make you free.